We've had a mountain of news, rumour and innuendo around Charlotte Flair after she reportedly went rogue during the title swap segment that main evented last week's Smackdown. We are due to have more Charlotte news. Charlotte was going to be amongst the next round of media picks to promote the upcoming UK tour and Survivor Series. This is no longer the case. Why? Well, apparently Charlotte Flair is not of sound mind for media appearances. Hi, I'm Tom Collihue. Welcome to my show. I share non-stop wrestling news here, so be sure to like, subscribe and follow along as we go into the details of what is currently some quite thin ice for Charlotte Flair. WWE management have had a number of conversations with Charlotte Flair over the past week in the attempt to work out whether they should be handing the SmackDown Women's Championship over to Sasha Banks in the build-up to Survivor Series and whether Charlotte Flair would go along with that. The WWE have one very simple concern. What about the next time that Charlotte Flair goes rogue, so to speak? At current, the planned Survivor Series match is Raw Champion versus SmackDown Champion. Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Champion, would line up against Charlotte Flair, the SmackDown Women's Champion. The whole point of the title swap was supposed to be building towards that match, but let's just say that Charlotte Flair wrenched the headlines away from that moment in a way that really benefited no one. To be fair, it both succeeded and failed. A lot of people were suddenly a lot more interested in seeing these two come to blows because it suddenly felt so much more real. Charlotte is on thin ice right now. Vince McMahon is one of many people at the top of the company that does not trust their SmackDown Women's Champion. Without trust, you really can't reliably have a championship match. If Charlotte is booked to lose against Sasha Banks or even Becky Lynch, would she actually do it? Would she stay down for the free? A lot of this naturally is based on a lot of the reporting that's happened over the last few weeks. Some of those reports have of course already been disputed heavily, but there is enough smoke out there and we've heard enough information and enough of a timeline to feel confident that the WWE has every right to be a little reticent here. With this in mind, the WWE made the unilateral decision that Charlotte Flair will not be meeting anyone from wrestling media right now. This is a very good choice by the WWE for several reasons. There isn't a single wrestling journalist that I'm aware of who wouldn't ask the question. I would ask the question. Charlotte, what happened? If asked about Becky Lynch, would Charlotte keep the company line? In a recent interview with Renee Paquette, she certainly didn't quite keep the company line. She avoided saying anything personal and just went really professional. I'm inspired by the fact she's a working mother. What horrible but extremely exciting things would she say? The WWE could not take the risk. Charlotte herself is also historically unhappy when working with media. That's not her fault. She has experienced a number of very unpleasant experiences with wrestling media, not just actual journalists, but also quite a lot of different social media accounts, even those with blue ticks, who she has had to have a few barn burners with, if many of you will remember. They've asked very personal questions about her relationships. They've asked for in-depth details on her father and her brother. So many people have attacked her because of her booking. Charlotte is well known for launching into very detailed rebuttals of a negative fan perception of her, which basically just eats up the entire questioning time of a journalist. She openly does not enjoy working with the media. Honestly, this is for the best on all sides. Any interviewer would be under immense pressure from their readers and their viewership to be the one to bare their teeth and go on the attack on Charlotte Flair. I'm talking hound dog ripping apart a piece of meat on this one. That interviewer likely wouldn't be getting another chance from the WWE. And depending on how they go about it, they might not deserve it. It definitely would not have been a pleasant experience for Charlotte. And this is before you factor in the way that the WWE will typically queue up between six and 10 interviews back to back so it would be one negative experience after another. I'm not joking when I say that quite often, a wrestler will have to sit down for five hours in front of a camera, answering the same questions from different people in 15 to 30 minute slots, with a producer there telling them, smile more. 
Sometimes as fans, we're a little too focused on being out for blood. We're kind of trained that way. As wrestling fans, we've been trained to believe that violence is the only answer. This time around, we're all going to need to chill out and relax and let this play out. Yes, that may include Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch in the same breath. Now, are we going to chill out? No. If the WWE can keep this going hot, despite things keeping cool between Lynch and Flair, they might actually be onto something, and I think a lot more people would be interested in this Survivor Series match. Eleanor says, damn, that Becky and Charlotte thing was interesting. I love Charlotte and Becky. It sucks that it sounds like they aren't friends anymore. They definitely don't sound like they are. Charlotte Flair was asked point blank by Renee Paquette, how is the relationship? And she said nothing personal. Nothing at all. Moxie says, I think Big E and Charlotte are losing their titles before Survivor Series. Definitely don't think so with Big E. With Charlotte, it depends what she does. Air Jarrett says, I just think Becky getting a pass in this spot is ridiculous. Becky clearly went after other wrestlers on Twitter, including Charlotte, without the other wrestler knowing. Sorry, but Becky brought this on herself. Is Charlotte in the right? Absolutely not. But Becky isn't as innocent as people say. People already know whose side they're on before the news comes out. Becky's rubbed people the wrong way as well, but people ignore it. Not everyone does. Becky has uh, been known to basically start fights on Twitter without letting people know that she's about to start a fight with them. She's not guilt-free, but I don't think there's many situations where people are legitimately guilt-free. At least I don't think that myself. Brock says, I don't mind Becky, but I'm sick and tired of spoiled brat Charlotte's attitude and refusing to put people over. We don't know that that's what happened. Charlotte Flair is booked to pick up wins. She doesn't go out there and say, I want to win this match. She goes out there and is told, you're winning this match. She might not put people over. To my knowledge, she has never refused to. I, now, if you have information that she's refused to, shout out. Let us know. Tell us exactly where that information comes from. But until then, if you don't have information about that, stop and think. This right here is a sourced channel. We like to focus on fact here. Fact. So if you can't back up what you're saying, rephrase it as an opinion, or stop saying it. Go says, oof, this is just a lot of drama. We've walked into a, you, we've walked into a bit of drama here, Ghost. We, we've walked into a bit of drama, but that's the beauty of it. We try and cut through the drama here and talk about, you know, the fun side. The fun side, because wrestling's supposed to be fun. And we can't always be sat there seething and just fucking Charlotte's in a match. Can't stand it, fucking Charlotte's in a match. It's wrestling, you know? If you don't like it, watch other wrestling. Fast forward. You have options. You also have options of constructively coming on and saying, I don't like Charlotte Flair because this. There's a constructive way of doing it. But if Charlotte Flair vanity searches, how many thousands of tweets are out there calling her trash? Calling her spoiled and entitled brat. You don't know her. It's that simple. 